Coming up on The Uplift, a straight path to success at one Wisconsin hospital, how it's training a very special group of teens for a future in healthcare. Then, light at the end of the tunnel, the new breakthrough giving boys with ALD the hope they need. And it was the ultimate snow day, why these deserving kids got to have a wintry day of fun. Welcome to The Uplift. In this new digital series, we are here to share some of our favorite stories that we are sure will put a smile on your face. It's our goal to lift your spirits for at least the next 30 minutes and hopefully for a lot longer. I'm Susan Elizabeth Littlefield. Thank you so much for being here. Now to an inspiring story out of Wisconsin. A lacrosse hospital is making dreams come true for young adults with developmental and intellectual disabilities. They are learning to be more independent as part of a program at Gunderson Health System. They train for over a year. That's where they brush up on communication skills and intern with several departments. After graduating, they can apply to Gunderson for full-time work. We focus very heavily on teaching them all of those skills that they can't necessarily learn at school. So I can get this job. Project Search accepts students from any lacrosse area high school. If you've been watching the past couple of Vikings games, you've probably spotted this cool fan on the Jumbotron. This is eight-year-old Lincoln Gustafson. The Vikings fan from Iowa came to fame at the Thanksgiving game against the New England Patriots. He came to Minnesota with a plan to get noticed, and what better way to do that than just to bling out, just like Vikings quarterback Kirk Cousins. It worked, and it's led to some pretty cool experiences, including another game and meeting his inspiration. We're going to have uh, tickets for you to the game again, and I understand it's your birthday. Is that true? Yeah. Every day is just a new surprise and we're enjoying it, enjoying the moment and trying to make the most out of this. Lincoln sported his same icy look at Minnesota's game against the Jets. He got to meet Kirk on the field during warm-ups. And yes, he was once again on the Jumbotron. A pride of lions from Ukraine is now in a home here in Minnesota. These four cubs are between the ages of four and five months old, and three of them are from the same litter. They were rescued from an animal trafficking ring in Ukraine this past fall. International animal welfare groups helped to relocate them to the Wildcat Sanctuary in Sandstone, Minnesota. These guys were destined for the pet trade and luckily were surrendered and uh, were able to go to a rescue group who then reached out to International Fund for Animal Welfare to make sure that they would be safe for the rest of their lives. The cubs will grow to be 450 pounds each and it'll take close to $200,000 to support each one of them for the rest of their lives. The Wildcat Sanctuary is fundraising to ensure these animals are cared for. A breakthrough for the boys who have a terminal illness called ALD. It's a disease that causes them to slowly lose sight, mobility, and speech. I learned all about the research that's offering new hope. Take a look. Priscilla Vinicloss has been through a lot. It was horrific being a teenager and watching your dad deteriorate was sad and not knowing what was wrong with him and just him losing his speech and his mobility. Turns out he had ALD, a genetic brain disease that affects males. It took her father's life. And then her precious baby boy was diagnosed too. So you found out he was? He was. And what was that like? So that was devastating because I automatically, your brain goes to the worst case scenario. So I thought of my father. She got proactive, traveled from their home in Michigan to Minnesota, to Masonic Children's, where they're doing a clinical trial. We were thinking, well, what do we have to lose? Dr. Orchard led the trial at Masonic. Instead of a more risky bone marrow transplant, Landon got gene therapy with a stem cell transplant. Rather than use somebody else's cells, engineer your own cells to do that. Landon took the transplant like a champ, but it wasn't easy. It was just a hot mess. It sucked. <laughs> we're so glad you're out of that hot mess. Yeah, me too. It was worth the pain. The therapy worked. It seems to stop the progression of the disease. That's pretty amazing. It is kind of amazing. God, I'm living right now. Um, I know how to eat. I know how to walk. I know how to talk. There is hope in the future for these boys to live long, healthy lives. And he's proof. He is proof, yes. 
A snowy day turned into a day of fun for some kids at a Twin Cities hospice home. Crescent Cove is a place where families find help near end of life. So a break like this is an extra special treat. Marielle Moe shows us the team effort to make sure these kids have fun, but also stay safe in an emergency situation. When we saw Brandon and Royce walk up with the box of sleds, we're going, what do they have up their sleeve today? <laughs> In the middle of Tuesday's snowstorm, Brooklyn Center firefighters came by with a special delivery. Nice. Nice. Sleds for kids like Milo to enjoy through the halls of Crescent Cove. Woo! Or for kids like Lauren to enjoy outside. How often have any of our children at Crescent Cove been able to be in a sled? They don't get to do those everyday things. Katie Lindenfelser, the founder of Crescent Cove, was touched by the generous gift. While the sleds will mostly be used for fun, the firefighters wanted them in each kid's room for life-saving reasons. We were able to be able to move the kids to the sleds. The emergency responders, police, fire, even staff would be able to come around the backside of the building and move them to a safer area. Since most of these kids are wheelchair bound, the sleds would help them escape faster during snowy months in case of emergency. Something complicated can be solved with something very simple like a sled. The Brooklyn Center Walmart donated all the sleds. <laughs> so until the sleds are needed for safety, it's a big smile. They'll just be used for smiles significant to see Milo smile in particular because his brother just died a couple of months ago here at Crescent Cove. And grief can slide to the wayside for a little while. Can you blow kisses? Everything happens in such a beautiful way here. In Brooklyn Center, Marielle Mose, <laughs> WCCO 4 News. You can find one of Santa's best helpers at a Minnesota hospital. Coming up, see how he is making the holidays a little brighter for families inside of Masonic Children's.